tonight is cloudy. We saw some rain earlier and we're not done with the rain just yet. It's also mild outside warmer today than it has been temperatures right now in the 60s and this is where they're going to stay. We're at 66 in Slidell, 64 at the lakefront, 67 over at the airport and hey Holma, you are at 70 degrees right now. This is warmer, 18 degrees warmer in Homa than it was this time yesterday. 16 degrees warmer at the airport, 10 degrees in Gulfport, 13 for Hammond and Bogalusa. Here's a look at radar again right now locally and not seeing any showers popping up, but some more rain could be moving on in. We'll keep shower chances in the forecast overnight tonight and into tomorrow. So there's a small craft advisory in effect right now that goes through tomorrow morning and then Tomorrow we also have the risk for some severe storms. It's a very low risk, but we can't rule out the possibility of hail or damaging wind. And then as we head into the beginning of the work week, a cool down arrives once again. So it's warmer today, warmer tomorrow, and then a big cool down. Here's a quick look at the small craft advisory so we could see winds gusts up to 30 knots, seas five to six feet. So just be aware of that until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Overnight tonight, we're not going to see temperatures cool down. In fact, we might see them warm a degree or two as more cloud cover continues to move on in and rain chances start to pick back up overnight tonight. Plus, we could also see some areas of fog develop. So tonight again, temperatures staying in the upper 60s, very mild. Here's a look at the fog that we could see, just some areas of patchy fog possible. They could develop into your Sunday morning. Something to keep in mind if you have to hit the road early tomorrow, be aware that you might have to take it slow and take it easy. Then we head into our Sunday and again, yes, we do have the risk for severe weather in our area. It's everyone here in this darker green color, so it extends across portions of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia and into Florida, even into parts of Texas. But for us here, it's mainly for the North Shore. We'll say it's along and north of I-10. The main threats, damaging wind and hail. So this is a marginal risk. Again, those of you here in the darker green, it's a level one out of five when it comes to threats. So it's very low, but again, not zero. The main risk damaging wind can't rule out hail. And we will be here tomorrow staffed throughout the day because we'll watch for the possibility of rotation. Something that's needed for tornadoes to develop, something called shear. It doesn't really look like it's there, but still we won't rule out the risk of an isolated spin up tornado. So just stay weather aware tomorrow morning around 7 a.m. and then this will continue into the evening. Let's track it out for you right now. Again, currently not seeing any rain out there, but more showers are possible as we head into our overnight hours. A few pop up showers. Then by Sunday morning, we start to see the ingredients form in the atmosphere needed for some severe storms, some damaging wind gusts, some hail possibly. And the rain out there in the storms will be very scattered. So it's not guaranteed that you will see rain tomorrow, but a lot of you will. We'll see these scattered storms move through throughout the morning and into the afternoon hours. Here comes the cold front behind this by Sunday evening temperatures will drop. So notice it's around 10 o'clock that we start to see the rain move offshore and we start to see all of this wrap up. Cooler air moves on in temperatures will plummet. So tomorrow low risk by Monday. We're talking temperatures in the 50s and it will stay cooler out there. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. It looks to stay calm through the middle of the work week. All right, thanks.